Hi everyone. Welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. In our today's session, we are going to learn a new topic called multiplication of numbers by using Nikolam Sutra in Vedic Mathematics. So, before going to start the session, let us know some basic terms. And the first basic term that I would like to explain to you here is about multiplication. I think you know what is multiplication. Multiplication means repeated addition of a number is called as multiplication. So, if a number is added repeatedly, then it is said to be as multiplication. For example, if I take a number 9 and if I add this 9 for 5 times, that is 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, no doubt that you will get answer as 45. But instead, what we are going to do here is, we just write that 9 into 5 is equals to 45. I think you can see this in the table of 5. So, now you have got idea what the multiplication is. Now, let us see what this 9 is called, 5 is called and 45 is called. This 9 is called as multiplicant. Multiplicant means the number that is being multiplied is called as multiplicate and the number 5 here is called as multiplier. Multiplier means the number that is multiplying the multiplicate and 45. The answer is called as product. So, whenever you multiply any two numbers and the answer so obtained is called as product. Now, let us see how we do multiplication of numbers in our traditional way. In our traditional way of multiplication, we use the following procedure in order to obtain the product. For example, here I am taking 24 into 3. To multiply 24 and 3, at first what I am going to do here is, I am just writing 2, 4 into 3. After writing the numbers like this, now what I am going to do here is, I am just going to multiply the digit 3 and 4 at first. Why? Because the number 3 is to be multiplied to the units digit of the multiplicand. Now you just multiply 3 and 4. If you multiply 3 and 4, 3 fourths are 12. So you just get the answer 12. 12 being a two digit number, at first, what you have to do here is, you just write the ones digit that is 2 in the answers place. After writing the answer in the answers place, you just carry the remaining digit that is 1, which is in the tens place, onto the top of the 2, like this. After carrying the 1 onto the top of the 2, now you just multiply the digits 3 and 2. 3 twos are, you will get 6. And you just add this 1 to the 6, you will get 7. And you just write that 7 in the answers place. So, this is the way of traditional multiplication. In our old fashioned way, we just used to do multiplication in this way. But, in this session, we are going to learn how we can do multiplication of numbers in different way. So, before going to learn, what the different way that we can do multiplication of numbers. Let us know some more points regarding this old traditional way of multiplication. The demerits that you can observe in the old traditional way of multiplication is number one, that you should definitely learn tables to do multiplications. And the other thing that you can notice here is we cannot multiply single digit numbers. For example, if I ask you to show me the procedure of multiplication of single digit numbers like 7 and 8, it is not possible for you to do so. So, 7 here it is repeated 8 times. That means, 7 is repeatedly added for 8 times and therefore, you will get 56. But, in our Nikolam Sutra of multiplication, we can show, we can have how these two digits can be multiplied. Now, before going to start, how we are going to do multiplication of numbers by using Nikolam Sutra, let us know some basic things. 
So the first thing that you have to keep in your mind is you should know what are base numbers. So base numbers. What are the base numbers means here 10, 100, 1000 and so on are called as base numbers. And the other thing that you should know here is there is no need to learn tables. There is no need to know any table. So these things should be keep in your mind very well. And in order to multiply numbers by using Niklam Sutra, we follow three cases. And the case number one, what we can observe here is the numbers that are to be multiplied are smaller than the base, we follow case one procedure. If the numbers are larger than the base, that is the numbers that are to be multiplied are larger than the base, then we follow case number two procedure. If one number is smaller and the other is larger, means if multiplicand is smaller and the multiplier is larger or else if the multiplicand is larger and the multiplier is smaller, then we just follow the procedure in case 3. So now let us have an example about case number 1. So here I am taking case number 1 and I am going to explain you how we can do multiplication of two numbers by using Niklam Sutra. So what is case number 1 means if the multiplicand and multiplier are smaller than the base, we just follow case number 1 procedure. For an example, I am taking here two single digits that are 7 and 8. I think you pretty well know what is 7 into 8. 7 8 are 56. Now let us see what is the procedure that we can do here in order to get the answer 56 that is the product 56. So before going to start the multiplication, you just find what is the base for these two digits. So the base for these two digits is 10. Why? Because the 10 is the only number that is nearer to 7 and 8. After finding the base, we just write 7 like this and 8 below it. And you just have a horizontal bar like this and also a vertical bar like this. You just split it. After having this split, now see the numbers 10 and 7. So, 10 is 3 less than 7. So, it is less. So, you just write minus 3 here. And again, 10 and 8. So, here 8 is 2 less than 10. So, you just write minus 2. Whenever you get a less number, you just write minus and the number that is less. Like this. Minus 3 and minus 2. After writing these two numbers, at first, what you, you have to do here is, you just multiply minus 3 and minus 2. So, if you multiply minus 3 and minus 2, the number that you are going to get is plus 6. You just post this 6 here, below these two numbers, plus 6. After writing plus 6, now you just do cross subtraction. Why I am saying here cross of fraction means here you are having minus. So whenever you get minus here on the right column, you just do subtraction. 8 minus 3, you will get 5. If you do cross of fraction with 7 and minus 2, definitely you are going to get 5 itself. So whenever you do subtraction, either crossways, you get the same answer. So you should remind in your mind this particularly. Why? Because if you get any odd number, that is, if you get any number differently, then the things that you have taken here is wrong. So, I think it could work as a blind indication for you. So, whenever you do subtraction or addition, you have to get the same number either ways. So, here you are getting the same number. So, that means the numbers that I have taken here is they are correct. So, 8 minus 3 is 5 or 7 minus 2 is 5. So, by cross subtraction, 7 minus 2 you are going to get 5 or else 8 minus 3 also will get 5. So, you just write that 5 here in the left column. 
So you just plug these two numbers, 5 and 6. What you are going to get? The answer, 56. So therefore, you have got the answer 7 into 8 is equals to 56. This is also in the table of 8. 7 8s are 56. Hope you have understood pretty well how we can apply Niklam Sutra in multiplication of single digit numbers which is not at all possible to do in our old traditional way. Hope you have understood very well about the application of Niklam Sutra while multiplying numbers. Thank you.